Hey y'all, Mighty Megros here, and today we are back with our new team, and this is not going to be part of the Road 2K series, this is going to be something a little bit different. I'm figuring since, you know, Sun and Moon's coming up within a few days, I just wanted to take a little bit of time to make a Sun and Moon themed team. Now, as you can see at the top of your screen, there are six Pokemon that represent the Sun and the Moon very well. But before we get into that, I just want to say guys, I apologize for the lack of uploads lately. And I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm working on something big. There will be a parody song up sometime within the next two weeks, hopefully, that will show off all my hard work. And <clears throat> also, I just wanted to let y'all know that if, any, if anyone was wondering, uh, our Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke will hopefully return sometime soon. I'm kind of thinking about just like getting rid of it and scrapping it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, let's get right into the battle. Or, not battle, let's get right into the team builder real quick. We're just going to do a quick team recap, then we're going to move straight into our first battle. So, here we go. First up, we have Sun the Soul Rock, rocking the Rocky Helmet. He's sort of our physical wall with uh, Stealth Rock, Zen Headbutt, Rock Slide, and Willow. <clears throat> a lot of, st a lot of uh, stats and a lot of EVs and HP and defense with a 4 and attack. He has Impish. Move on to Moon. <clears throat> now you think, hmm, maybe it's its special wall as well. No, this thing is just a straight up. I mean, I guess it's meant to just be a all around wall or all around bulk. It's rocking the Citrus Berry with Ancient Power, Cosmic Power, Blizzard, and Earth Power. A lot of powers right there. <clears throat> this is just for a little bit of coverage with the Earth and the Blizzard. But yeah, we've got 28, thanks to the EV Spur, we have 218 and 218 in the defenses. We are running a modest nature to give it special attack a little bit of a bump. We have 252 in uh, HP. Next, we're going to move on to Luna the Cresselia. Rocking the leftovers with uh, Moonblast, Calmine, Psyshock, and Moonlight. This is 252, 148, 88. It's a modest nature as well, and with this, it equals out to 318 in both defenses as well. Just give it all around bulk again. <clears throat> like I said, and there are three Pokemon right here that have levitate, so we really have nothing to worry about with the ground types. Which brings us to our next Pokemon, Flannery the Volcarona. With holding the Lumberry, rocking out with the Flame Body ability. With Quiver Dance, Bug Buzz, Fiery Dance, and Giga Drain. Pretty standard Volcarona set. We're rocking 184 in speed, 252 in special attack, and 72 in HP. And we are running a Timid Nature to boost our speed stat. Next we have Dusk the Umbreon, rocking the leftovers with the synchronized ability. This is just going to be your classic Toxic Stall set, rocking the Foul Play, Heal Bell, Toxic Protect. We've got 2v2 in attack, 2v2 in speed. That might not be the proper spread, but that's what I'm going with. I want to hit things hard with this Pokemon, it's one of our only physical attackers. Our only other one being Sun, our physical wall. We've got four in defense. Next, we're going to move on to Twilight the Espeon, rocking the Choice Specs with Magic Bounce, rocking Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Hyper Beam. I just threw Hyper Beam on there for some fun. This is going to be, I mean, we're going to try to have some fun with this little team here. This is not meant to be competitive whatsoever. We are having to play in the OU tier because of uh, Volcarona being BL, so we cannot use her in. Um, What's the term? UU. So this will be in the OU tier. And we're just going to get right to the battle real quick. And here we go. We are rocking out against a Feraligator, a Houndoom, a Dragonite. Oh my goodness. We have a Heatran, a Garchomp, and a Skarmory. This is a very standard OU team that does appear. I'm not very familiar with OU, but I do all have a feeling that we will get our tails handed to us in this battle. Now, looking at this team, we are very 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 much threatened by Mr. Houndoom right there. We are also threatened by Mr. Fraligator. Threatened once again, well actually really not threatened by Garchomp. Scarbrand yeah, we ain't worried about. Heatran we are a little bit worried about. Dragonite, well Dragonite's an all-around threat always. So well actually we do have Moonblast on Luna so not too much to worry with there. We are at 9 seconds so we are going to hurry up and sweep this up. We are going to lead 
with, oh, I have nothing to switch out with. I say we just lead with our all-around bulky Luna. Okay, I'll take Halvar, the Garchomp. I say we go straight for the Moonblast. Hmm. Alright, alright, I see you big dog on your Wolf Wolf. I'm going to set up a Calm Mind real quick. And hit him again. That should be enough to kill him. Stone Edge, we're going to eat that. Wait, it's none of our business. We're going to get that plus one right there. What I do enjoy about the new um, uh, showdown layout is that it shows us our after modifiers. As you can see right there, our special attack has been boosted from 204 to 306. And our special defense has been has went from 318 to 477. So we're now going to use Moonblast one more time, and we are just going to rock out on top of that Heatran right there. Now, we are mm, not looking too hot, 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 so we are just going to hit it with our Psych Shock real quick, see if we can do anything right there. Psych Shock right there, it's going to be resisted, we're going to get 17% off, it's getting 6%, we're only doing 11% each time. Now, because of that, I do believe that a Flash Cannon is coming our way, so what I want to do is... Do I have anything for this? It probably has flash fire. I'm saying 200% flash fire. So do we want a rock slide or do we want to earth power? I think we want to earth power it. So I'm going to swap out into moon actually. How's our defense? Yes we are. We're going to swap out into moon. There's toxic. We can take that too. We're not too worried about that toxic because of uh, Umbreon's hill bill. So we are just going to click earth power. I am a little bit okay. All right, I can. Oh, whoa! Look at that moon! Look at that powerful moon! Look at that! Now, the guys, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. I do not expect to win many of these battles. We are using two PU mons in OU tier, and this PU mon just put the work on a hatred. Let's go! <laughs> oh man, that's power right there. That's power. All right. Well, seeing as that did just happen. We are not faster in the slightest, but we are going to swap out into who? Who are we gonna send out here? Skarmories are normally. Hmm. I don't want to send that out. We could send out Flannery, really. Uh, we're gonna lose 25, but we can potentially hit up that Fiery Dance. Skip the Quiver Dance altogether, the Fiery Dance, and or we just swap into Sun, who has a high defense. We're going to do that. We're going to swap into Sun. Iron Head. Ooh, it's super effective, but you know what? It's not the end of the world because we have been invested in the special or physical defense. We are now going to burn it, which is going to half uh, his. There you go. This was the entire point of this uh, little thing right here. Let's do that. Now we are going to set up our own Stealth Rocks. As he hits us again, we can take one more, I'm fairly certain. Or he... Okay, he's doing 16.9. 16 I do believe I can get the Stealth Rock off and we will be just fine and dandy. Or do I want to click Rock Slide? I think I'm just going to click Rock Slide. Or he's going to... Do more damage than I predicted. Okay, alright. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We are here. We are doing good. We're going to send in Flannery right now. It's going to do 50%. Whew, not too hot on that. I am just going to click Quiver Dance. Or we're just going to get swapped out into Dusk right here. Alright, I see you big dog on your Wolf Wolf. Hurt by your burn, you go right ahead and do that. We are just going to Heal Bell right here. We're going to take that Iron Head. He's going to go down to the burn. Boom, there we go. Dusk is an amazing wall. We didn't even put... Did we put some in? I forget what we put into it. But I don't feel like we put that much into Dusk's defense. We might put four into it. Out comes Lathar... Lagar... Hubbard Ahar. Foul play it real quick. There's a Magma Storm. We're going to take it pretty decently. Get rid of that thing real quick. We are trapped in the Swirling Vortex. We've been released now because of Magma... Because Magma Storm... Or because Heatran is dead now, we have killed two Mons in this OU team. And we have only lost one. Now, I do think that is a win in our belts already. But we will just see how it goes. Edison's your name, eh? Um, I do believe I'm just going to Toxic you. Real quick. Now, now that you've done that, I'm going to click Foul Play. 
we can not take that in the slightest. Okay, all right. What can? That's the question. Luna can. Luna can easily take it. But I feel as though 350, 280, what is... What is 280? Let's pull up the calculator real quick. Hey, Cortana. Uh, open calculator. Thanks, Cortana. See, I got a little Cortana assistant real quick. Let's open this up real quick right there. Yep, y'all seeing that right there. Let's bring this right here real quick. What is uh, 280? Times uh, 1.5. 420. All right, so it's going to be faster. Now, I am not too, too worried about that. Because I feel... Okay, we have pitiful defense. So we are going to actually just swap into Luna. Hmm... Okay, how much how much are we doing with this uh, thing about 57? The thing has not been shown yet, and it is toxic. We shall now just click Moonblast. There's the Ice Punch. Really, you don't carry the Crunch? I mean, more power to you, I guess. We are going to now Moonlight. Boom, that's the play right there. That's the play to make. Alright, that is the play to make. I enjoy that play right there. It's dead this turn, so we are just going to Moonlight once again. We are up to positive. We are gaining HP slowly through this process. Now, some people might say this a little bit stally. I'm sorry, I'm used to you view. Haha, <laughs> a little joke there about the stall view. Now, this thing, this thing scares me. I'm going to click Moonblast. We do have enough defenses, hopefully, to take one hit. A Moonblast should, in theory, kill it. It's pretty weak. It is pretty weak. We can click that right there. It's absolutely nothing, but we do get a special attack drop, which is positively perfect. So, I say we now just, um, uh, 361 to 350. Ouch. We are lowered. Why does... Okay, I keep forgetting that it does that. We are just going to, uh, Moonblast again. No, we are not. We're going to get destroyed right there. See, Dark Type was always my fear real quick. Real quick, real quick. Um, we are going to barely live upon re-entry with on one percent. We are not faster in any means by a chance, but we can just click uh, bug buzz. Nope. There he goes. All right. I was hoping for a miss. I do believe this is where we fall, but this has been a very good battle in my opinion. Honestly, our best bet right here is to click hyper beam and see what happens. I mean. No, he's just not going to insult entry. I was hoping he might insult entry and set up on us so we could get a hyper beam off. Does not look like that's going to be the case. Moon has just ate a citrus berry. If we live this and Moon continues on, well then I apologize to all my peeps. But it does not look like we will because it is a PU mon to a mega hound doom. Now I will just tell him GG as he has told me. And I would just like to thank you all so much for watching. This was a I feel this was one of our better battles with this team. Alright guys, again, I'm not expecting to win many of these battles, I just wanted to showcase some Sun and Moon themed Pokemon, and hopefully next time we will have a win. So yeah guys, my name is Mine Megros, hope you all have a mighty good day, make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed or and want to see more of this team and this little challenge that I've given to myself. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. My name is Mine Megros, once again, I hope you all have a mighty good day, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.